Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So our news for today is quite sensitive and viewers discretion is advised. Our topic is about six family members dead after Allen brothers carry out a murder suicide plot. So this happens in Allen, Texas and Allen police say two brothers killed four family members before killing themselves over the weekend. Their bodies were found Monday morning when a friend found a rambling suicide note describing what led up to this tragedy. Police have released the name of the family members killed so you can see the names of the family members here in the screen and the Allen Police Department said it got a call for a welfare check at a home on Pine Bluff Drive around 1 a.m. morning. Officers who went to the home found both parents, three adult children and their godmother died from gunshot wounds. The family was from Bangladesh. One of Farhan's friends was concerned he was suicidal. The grandmother was visiting from their native Bangladesh. Quote unquote, the mother-in-law was supposed to go back to Bangladesh next month, explained Kwambrul Asan with the Bangladesh Association of North Texas. Allen Police Sergeant John Felty explained, quote unquote, two brothers entered in agreement that they were going to complete the suicide and from that it went to where the entire family was taken with them. Based on the decomposition, police believe the killings happened sometime Saturday and police got a call from Farhan's friend around 1 a.m. Monday morning. Felty also explained the friend had seen the post that his friend made on Instagram and that's what explained him call and say that he was concerned for his well-being. Farhan's post say he was going to kill his family. It rambles from battling with depression since 2016 and cutting himself to being unhappy with how the TV show The Office ended and how easy it was for Tanvir to purchase a gun. In the note, Farhan also detailed depression since ninth grade and the first time he cut himself, he also wrote the only reason for existence is happiness and that he shouldn't live if he is not happy. According to the notice book, Farhan say they would spend the rest of their lives feeling guilt, despair, I could just do them a favor and take them with me. The two boys were students at UT Austin. The sister had a full scholarship at NYU. Get to know your family first. Talk to your kids and your children and see what they're up to. Asan said, talk to your neighbors so nothing like this will happen in the future. Faiza Rahman say she was close friends with Farhan. I haven't mended the two versions of him in my head yet. You know, the one who I knew and was so close to and would talk to for like hours upon about anything and like the one that happened, she said. Like this was supposed to be himself showing how much he loved him and I know it doesn't make sense to us. Friends say they knew Farhan previously caught himself. The families were from Bangladesh and belonged to a number of DFW groups related to their background. Many gathered outside their home Monday regretting they never saw this coming. Police say there were no records of any problems at the home. The note posted to Instagram indicates a 21-year-old brother bought the gun used in the killings. Police say there's still a whole lot left to uncover. So you can see as well the Instagram post of uh, Farhan. And um, right now I'm checking as well the Instagram and I can't see the account anymore. So it's probably deleted and can't be seen anymore. So what can you say about this disturbing issue? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below and please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube and Facebook channel. See you in my next video.